we are back with game two and they have like similar teams <laughs> so let's see like Clef and um, Gastro on both teams pretty sure that should it should be Scarf, Latios and Zabella's team Um, the Gastron on both teams, they are usually Spadev, the Clef is Fizzdev, and the Celestia is like mixed dev, but more Fizzdev, I think, on Thabala's team at least. And I think on both teams, it's like more Fizzdev, Celestia, but some Spadev. It's like the standard spread, right? And just bold Clef and like Sassy or whatever the nature is for Gastro. So these are many, many th uh, threat if it's then had, but like Clefable can't switch in. Like it's a fine. It's a fine lead, like he leveled Clef. But um, later when Emedi comes in on like the T-Tar, if he predicts correctly, he just gets a kill if he has Zen Headbutt. But yeah, he's just gonna go for Fake Out here. And then he's gonna switch out. And it's gonna be Rock Clef, obviously. I think it's gonna be Bantar on, on h Quas team. So Sabella is either gonna go to his own clef or the Celestia here. I mean, if he breaks the rocks, he can stay in with his Medichim, but I would never risk Medichim. Like, it gets killed if it comes in on Tita. Like, why would you risk it? So, yeah, I would go Celestia here. The only thing you have to fear is a knockoff from the opposing clef. That would be really annoying, a knockoff here. But yeah, both they both know about this bust that one called Mijerna, so they have a they both have a gastro on the side of the which is like Testy is not the best check, but like it can still eat T bolts up as long as the Mijerna doesn't have a boost. And so if it's not Gigavolt Havoc, you can still check it pretty nice. Um I understand the Moonblast play because the Medicham is such a threat in case it stayed in. That made sense. Um do you wanna like obviously I, I think it doesn't even kill from full moonblast, I think it does like 90. But yeah, now they Oh, I thought they would exchange rocks, but Sabella has T Wave Clef. So I assume it's T Wave Rocks, Softbolt, Moonblast on Sabella's side, yeah. The, the last move has to be um, Softbolt and Moonblast. So he does lose his leftovers. Um, really nice play, double T Wave. Ooh. Um, this helps. It's actually not that bad, though, for, for H Quas, because now um, Sarasilia cannot get Scald Burn from the Gastrodon. Uh, it's only gonna be annoying if he gets parrot a few times in a row. I assume we're gonna see a leech sheet come out here, predicting a gastrodon slash um, the opposing Celestila. But yeah, Sabala so is definitely not staying in with the clef, even though this is parrot and can like, there's no point. You can't touch the Celestila. Like, why would you stay in just to go for Moonblast and then hope and then nah, that's no play. Yeah, so he's gonna switch here. Let me look at the teams real quick. So it's probably Megalati, obviously. And, and like in the back of my mind, I'm thinking it could be Scarf Lottie with Healing Wish support, but I'm. To like bring back like a Bantar. Um, but it's probably not that. It's just probably Megalati. Um, it looks like Scarf Gren. I think he also had a Scarf Gren in game one, because I don't know where else he has his speed control at. But yeah, he just leaves Caesar on a Gastrodon. So Bella can't really touch the Celestia now unless he's cursed Gastro. So just pivots into his Celestia. Nice play. Um but his opponent there just going for flamethrower predicting the switch. So Bella might go for Leech Sheet here, yeah. But he just goes for protect to get some leftovers. That was a fine play. Um he can just protect again here. Get more leftovers. Um okay, I wouldn't have done that, but he does it it's fine he didn't get burned so worked out so now he can protect finally to get his lefties and leech seed and now he can switch into clefable because you never go into your gas on because you don't risk um his, your opponent going for toxic so you're always going to clef it as magic guard it doesn't care about rocks it doesn't care about getting skull burned the only thing that's a bit annoying for him is that his clefable um got knocked off so the Zygarde looks to be the Z-move user potentially on Sabella's team. I don't see where well, well, else he has a Z-move user. I'm 
Both teams look like kind of like something I would build. <laughs> like at least Zabala's team looks like something I would build, and I would have like a pincer instead of a mini gym and like what else? Tangros instead of Clef, and then something of a guest was like a team I made. I mean, a lot of like these balances, a bulky offense, however you want to call them, they're like kind of similar a lot. If that makes sense, that I made a team that looks like kind of like that. Mm. He's just gonna heavy slam here. Okay, goat. Goat plays. I mean, it makes sense that he that he doesn't risk his class, but I probably would have heavy slam there. So they exchange leech seeds. This doesn't work out for Sabella. His uh, Celeste is a bit lower. Uh, unless he gets para, this doesn't work out for him. So he's probably gonna go gas on here. Actually, hmm, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, they're talking about um, Zygarde in the chat. They're saying the good Zygarde set already wins. I think they're talking about sub -DD Zygarde. Um, he goes hard many gym. That was also a good play. <laughs> that didn't even come. That didn't even cross my mind. That was a fire play. But yeah. Um, He's not gonna protect here because he's leech seated and he's paralyzed, so this doesn't really help him. So he could technically edge JK here. But if he has Zen Headbutt, he can also break the clef and go for Zen Headbutt. That's a really nice play as well. I mean, yes, the Dirt said in the chat that it could be um, Sub DD Zygarde, but protect. Um, that head is so cool with toxic spikes, but he doesn't have toxic spikes. So this is, might be a roll, but I think it's in Sabella's favor. I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is jolly damage. Um, it actually depends on the roll, but I think this is jolly mini gym. So he can just Zen Headbutt again here, because he has like the flinch and the para chance, even if he doesn't get the roll, as long as he hits. Now this should kill, right? There's no way you first do 56 and then you get the min roll of not doing 50. Like it says 51, but I know it's 50 because I know how short works. It always runs down weird. Um, so he's gonna go Greninja here. Slash Ladi. If he's Greninja, um, if he goes Greninja, he gets. Like Greninja gets warped by Gastrodon most of the time, depending on the set, but like. He's scarf, I can see him U turning for sure, predicting the Gastrodon. But Isabella's yes, already up 1 0. If he wins uh, this, he wins the best of three. But yeah, the loser's not, even if H Chris loses, he's not out yet of OT. It's a double elimination tournament, which I think is pretty cool. Because if you lose like a series to Hex, you get a second chance. Or if you lose a game because you're nervous, you get a second chance as well. Like uh, some of the people that are new in the tournament scene. I don't know how new H. Quest is, I haven't really heard about him in the tournament scene. But I think he's um, pretty young actually. That's what I meant, Dennis told me, because they're both Italian. So Dennis knows him a bit, I think. But yeah, he makes the U-turn play, I agree with that play. Because there was um, he was going Gastro or Clive there. And yeah, if you gang on the class, it would have been godly, but it wouldn't have killed anyway. And then Sabella could have pivoted, so you turn it fine overall. But yeah, this class is just super annoying for him. Like, he doesn't really have a way of breaking the class. His only way of breaking it is, um, like, he's not... Sabella just has switch-ins for the Celestia, so the Celestia is not going to beat the class. He's just never going to stay in, and... Banta, Banta is actually scary if it comes in on... Huh, on what? Uh, on the Latios, yeah. And uh, it comes on a status dealer as well, potentially, yeah. On like a double switch, because he doesn't want to hard switch it into like a lead seed or have it in He does get paradise, that's not a big deal at all. Um, you can just lead seed again here, predicting in like a switch, because Gaston is just not gonna accomplish anything by staying in. Yeah, like 
I don't know. I mean, okay, he spam flamethrower, but I think like the opposing steel is fine as well. But I would just spam leech seed. Actually, the opposing says he has too low anyway. I forgot that the opposing says he has low. So spamming heavy slam is a fine play too because if he tries to pivot in the cliff, ah, oh, he's not gonna pivot in the cliff. Uh, he could go Zyga potentially if he's really the subset. Like this doesn't work out. Okay, I see he's trying to burn it and he gets it. I, okay, I see what he's trying to do now. Hmm. Uh, burn got nerfed this gen, so it only cancels out the leftovers. Should be fine, still fine. Like it's not the biggest deal for a Gastrodon. It's still better than being toxic, obviously. And he goes into Lottie, so this is probably a trick Lottie. I would probably go into um if the Salastila is healthy, uh, I think it was healthy, right? Just switch out. I would probably go Salastila because no one goes for trick here. You can obviously go hard into Tita to pursue this. Yo, what if, what if he doubles into Medicham? He breaks into Tita slash Salastila, that's a gold play. But I don't think he has to make that play because Sabella already has the advantage anyway. Exactly, he's in a really good position. I agree with the current Smith and the smoke just chat there. Medicham just gets a kill when, like, when Tita, if, if Tita ever pursues the Mladi, Medicham just gets a kill if it hits uh, the high jump kick. I mean, he's, he's probably just gonna Draco here, right? Like, he can't double into many, but that's unnecessarily risky. Nah, like how double into, into many is like a god play. He just he just doesn't have to risk it in my opinion. Like he wins anyway without having to make a play like that. That's why Voltron with months like Medicham, Hoopa, Kyurem is just so cool. Because you don't have to double them in, you can just U turn them in. <laughs> but yeah, just, just go for Divog. I don't think the rocks were that big of a problem for him, but okay. I mean, now if he gets pursued, it, I mean, I understand the play because even if you went for Draco there, it probably wouldn't have 2 hit KO'd the Tita because of the Spadef boost from Sandstorm. And he gets pursued it anyway then. And yeah, actually the play makes some sense. Yeah, the play makes sense because um, he can still set his rocks back up again. Now he gets pursued it, but Medicham now gets a kill. Like he can, oh, he goes like that works as well. Did he Zygat kind of wins? Yeah. Um, I lost my train of thought. What, 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 was, what was I trying to say? Yeah, the play makes sense. He defogged and H crosses. Rock is already dead. He can set his rocks back up. And Draco wouldn't have 2 it killed anyway. And he wants the Tita to be locked into pursuit. So, like, he can get a kill with Medi or he can set up with Zygat. I thought he would kill, kill with Medi. I didn't even think about the Zygat. <laughs> Uh, so Scarf Grin is at 88, I don't know if it dies to E speed at plus one. It might die to E speed at plus one after uh, Sandstorm if he goes hard Grin he has to take Sandstorm, right? But probably doesn't, I think it does like 70. Plus one E speed. We also don't know the set yet. I'm pretty sure it's DD, I just don't know the entire set. So it's sub DD and... So it's... 1000 errors in the last move is either E speed or Outrage. If it's Outrage, um, then he gets a kill here. Nice and juicy kill. I don't think he's gonna be the protect set because he like he just doesn't have he doesn't have T spike support support. It doesn't make sense to me to be um pr the protect set. Yeah, so he can just go for Outrage if he has it. Uh, if not, he can. I don't know. Probably just gonna thousand thousand arrows if he doesn't have average that is. And there's the ice beam, that's his thousand arrows. So I don't know if he doesn't have outrage or if he didn't want to get locked in. So yeah, the lie can't do much to the cliff. A uh, nice play to go for recover. So Sap can get his rocks back up here and his opponent doesn't have hazard control unless he's defog Gladi. I mean he could be defog Gladi. 
Uh, both being recover and defog is an option, yeah. So Sabala is going to switch into this Gastro here, slash, he can even go potentially into Zygarde. Okay, okay. <laughs> maybe he was just trying to, th maybe he was just going Celeste Dealer in, with, the mind th with, uh, with in mind that if a Celeste Dealer dies, then he gets a setup opportunity. Yeah, like so like going hard Zygarde is like a bad play that I suggested, because you don't want to go hard into it on potential flamethrower burn. Like you want to just sack something and get up a sub and then clean the game from there, yeah. But if he doesn't have Alvage, he doesn't like. He still gets checked pretty nicely from the Megalari on the other side. So I don't know if he just didn't reveal it yet. Or if he doesn't have it. But yeah, this is banned. Stone Edge is gonna get a kill for sure. It should be banned looking at the team. So I'm um, assuming he's gonna go. The like, Gastron gets 2 hit killed from this, so he's attacking. Does he need the Clef? I think. Like, he can fight the Gast or the Clef or the Stealer. He sacks the gas through as long as the same next stone edge connects and gets the roll. So that's 39, but like he's at 40 knowing showdown and now the 40. Okay. 41. So Zygarde or Medi coming out here and ready to get a kill, depending. Like I don't know, if you don't have outrage on the Zygarde, I like the Medi Chain play better, exactly. <laughs> um but he might have outrage and just not shown it like yet, like we like I said. Um so this is a free high jump. Actually, is it a high jump kick? He can ice punch between Lari as well. Uh, but high jump kick is just the safest play, so probably just gonna go for that. Yep. Like you have no reason to like not click it there. As long as it hits, it gets good damage. Yeah, yeah actually, actually, yeah, that was completely fine. Because the Lari only runs bolt beam. Like even if the Lari can take the high jump kick, it doesn't matter because the Lari can't kill the Medicham back, and the next time you can ice punch. Yeah, never mind. There was no reason to ice punch then. I mean, what's the Gren gonna do here? Can you just go to Cleffy and if he goes for Gunshot, you go to Zygarde? Or you can, you can just go Celestia, yeah. Celestia's fine, I feel. As long as the Tita is alive, this always gets a kill on Tita, so like, there's no reason to set me. Yeah, one of the matches that I'm most hyped for for this, this ulti run one is um, Blunder vs CG Mas. Uh, it's gonna be tomorrow. Um, like I said in an earlier upload, by the time this goes up, it might already be tomorrow because I'm recording this on a day. And then, like, my net is bad at the moment, so this might go up one day too late, is what I'm trying to say here. So the Blunder game might go up before this. Um. I don't know, just go Celesteela, I don't know why he's taking so long. I don't think he needs it. And Scarfgren doesn't even Oko Stila and then depending what he goes for. I mean I guess that works. I guess that works. He figured He figured that the Grand probably doesn't kill it or that H Crisk is in the back already and tries to make an aggressive play. Like, if you don't on the Salas Dilada, he got a kill. Like, I don't think it mattered what Sabala did, because if he goes Salas Dilada, he U-turns into Tita. Yes, Tita gets kills the Salas Dilada, but then Medicham gets a kill again. So, like, I don't think it mattered. But, I guess this is the way he, like, preserves the... Ma <laughs> he just gets a kill right now if he hits his high jump kick. Uh, actually, he doesn't get a kill right now, depending... It's like, T-Bolt or Ice Beam shoot to 35. So, he can go a lot here, actually, predict the high jump kick, but he just sacks his Tita. I don't know how healthy the Lari was, but if the Lari was super healthy, I think it was at full, right? Yeah, so he could have gone Lari on the HJK and then T Bolt or Ice Beam should have killed after that. Um, Ice Beam is the, obviously the move that he's gonna be spamming. You're never gonna click T Bolt when Ice Beam heck hits everything else the same. Again, no, T Bolt hits the Celestia better. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know the Kalk. I think my jump kick does around half to Mega Lari, uh, a bit less than half maybe. But yeah, this game been over. 
it's just it's just been like uh, maybe Thabala was calking and then realized that it doesn't matter what he does. I don't know. Oh, he just is a god and predicted the U-turn. So he's gonna softball here. He can just go to his onset as dealer. Like hard Zygot works as well, but like I said, you don't want to risk a potential flame bar. So we're burn all like a leech sheet is annoying as well. But yeah, this game been over, man. Just <laughs> I don't have a problem with the take that time, but like this is I think I already probably recorded another series before this, so it's a bit annoying. But yeah, he gets the leech sheet off on the Celestia. This, uh, Celestia is well trained. I don't think it has gotten parrot that much. If if did it even get parrot once? I don't remember. But yeah, Sabella is gonna lead sheet here. Um, he's gonna lead sheet again. Hard Zygot now. Okay, that works. Like, I don't, the only reason I don't like the play is because it risks the burn, but it's only ten percent chance. But these like low percent chances, like they happen more often as you would think they would happen. Like. I've been crude twice in a row, trust me on that one. Um, so he does drag this up, and now if he has out he will show it. Oh, he didn't. He's not left over, so yeah, he should be Z-move, right? I mean, if he's Z-move, there's no reason to not click the Z-move anyway. Um, unless he's Z Ground Z, because I don't know, Ground Z probably doesn't hit the lot because of Levitate. I don't think Ground Z Southern Arrows would... Okay, yeah, Hath Outrage, he didn't just, he just didn't show it, I don't know. Um, so, Gren can go for Ice Beam to revenge this, but that doesn't matter. Like, I don't know if Ground, like, Southern Arrows hits Pokemon that are levitating, right? But I don't know if the uh, Z version of it, I don't think the Z version of it would hit the Pokemon that are grounded. This is, like, the only thing I can think of, like, because if he's Z Outrage, like, why would he not click that? That's like, I'm a bit confused about that, but like, maybe I'm just missing something, I don't know. Um, now he can just bring in his... Oh, he's a bullet punch? Is he bullet punch? Oh, he can just go for fake out here, yeah. He can just go for fake out here with his Medicham. And yeah, I, I get this play, because he goes for fake out, he chips the Greninja if the Greninja stays in. And then he can just go cleft the turn after because the cleft is already burned, so it can't get frozen. And Scarf Greninja is kind of weak, so it doesn't do enough damage to cleft. It does like 30 ish, I would say, if even. Yeah, it should do like 30 ish because the cleft run, the clefts run fist death. So even though Scarf Greninja is kind of weak, it still has a good chunk. So yeah, he can just. Um I don't think HJK is the play because it's too risky. Um I don't know if his last move is like. If his last move is T-Punch or Ice Punch, I don't know that. Uh, it could also be Bull Punch, but that would be weird. He's not really that weak to DNC, um, guess, but I've guessed it's a good check to DNC. And Celestia has also a check, a really nice check. You could almost say a counter the, the Gastrodon. So yeah, I agree with switching out and not risking the high jump kick on the Protect there. But he got Peril anyway. And now... Tabala beats the opposing Steeler 101 because his is a bit healthier and he said damn I think he got burned or something and I'm behind or something yeah he he did get burned like there had to be some sort of hex but yeah the game is over Tabala wins so it doesn't matter so I don't know why he said that in chat it's fine Yeah, Scarf Gren has to like rock slide fringe everything like multiple times to have a chance of winning at this point. Ice Beam cr crits into freeze doesn't work because the clef is already burned, like I said. The rock slide fringe was the play on everything, but it doesn't work out because like there's just what are the odds? Like you have to flinch so many months. And the Magic also has fake out and stuff. So yeah, the game has been over. Um as Abala wins two hours is the best of three ways, H Quad and moves on. I think he's in winner's bracket now and H Quad goes to loser's bracket. That should be how it works. 
Thank you guys for watching and uh, stay tuned for a lot, a lot, a lot more ulti series and then with friends and call as well. Have a fantastic day and goodbye. <laughs>